But you see how much energy is being released here per injection. Uh, it's running at five injections a second. So you could imagine if you had uh, you know, 100 or 150 of these things in tandem, you could produce, a, you know, I mean, the pressure relief valve in here is set at, uh, at uh, 1,500 PSI. So you're getting pressures in here that are well in excess of 1,500 PSI momentarily. So. You see some water, you get some condensation. That's Joule Thompson cooling. It's going from 1,500 PSI to atmospheric pressure. So it's like an expansion valve in an air conditioner. So you get... So you would you would have... Uh, I, I envision... Well, we'll see this afterwards when we go up uh, upstairs and the you know 3D design of, of this that we have... Uh, banks of eight of these injectors. This is using a hydraulic injector. Uh, in practice, we would use a piezo electric injector because uh, obviously you don't want to deal with the hydraulic fluid, but for that you need a very high pressure pump. And, but that's all electronically controlled. You have a manifold that has the pressurized water in it to 20,000, 25,000 PSI, and then you electronically open and close the injector. Piezo injectors are a, a strange animal in that it's, you're, you're putting an electric field across these crystals, and you they act like a capacitor, so you have to discharge them before you can charge them again, and you can't hit it with an impulse function. You have to have a slight ramp to it, otherwise you'll crack the crystal. So it requires special like, special electronic drive circuitry. This is just using a conventional um, injector driver uh, module that produces the 140 volts that run the injector. So we're going to run this, I think, for about 10 minutes, 10 or 11 minutes, and so we'll how, look how at the energy. How many injections per second do we have here right now? Five. five yeah, you can see it's set on that oscillator. It's set to five. All right. But we know, because it's, it's very precise, the amount of uh, water that's injected each time, so you multiply that times five numbers times 60 seconds times the number of minutes, that's the total volume, because all of the water is converted to steam. Uh, so, and we know that for each pound of, uh, of steam that's produced, it's like 1,300 BTUs. Now, we'll look at the, the power that the system is used here, and we can convert that to uh, kilowatts, BTUs, kilowatts, and then you can see what the, the energy balance is.